Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I believe many of you joined the Holy Father, Pope Francis, in the noon prayer this morning here of the Our Father. In his invitation, he said, As trustful children, we turn to the Father. With the same trust and faith that Mary displayed, as we will hear in the Gospel today, let us celebrate this Mass on this feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh and the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, As for a sign from the Lord your God, let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holy costs or sin offerings you sought not, then said I, behold, I come. Here, Here I, I am, am Lord. Lord. I come, I come to, to do, do your, your will. will. In the written scroll it is pre prescribed for me, to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. 
Here I I am, Lord, I come come to to do your will. will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here Here I I am, Lord, I come come to to do your will. will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here Here I I am, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight, Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he said, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise and honor to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. In coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Last year, the 50th anniversary of the landing on the moon was commemorated. One of the astronauts who walked on that lunar dust, reflecting on this event, said, How wonderful that man walked on the moon, but even more wonderful that God walked on the earth. Indeed, God walked on the earth because he became incarnate, he became one of us. But that incarnation took place because of the yes of a woman, the woman to whom God referred from the very beginning in the Garden of Paradise, right after the fall, when he said to the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers. And that woman is the woman of the gospel today, to whom the angel announced, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And when she showed fear, the angel assured her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And when Mary, in spite of that trepidation and fear, assured by the angel that nothing is impossible with God, then said, Let it be done to me according to your word. And from that moment on, the Son of God, Jesus, became incarnate. And so on this feast of the Annunciation, we celebrate the incarnation of the Lord, the feast of the dawning of that promised salvation made to Abraham, the chosen people that ran through the prophets and now will be fulfilled in Jesus as we will walk the earth and proclaim the kingdom of God. And finally offered himself on the cross as payment for our sins, as ransom for our captivity and slavery to Satan. And so here we see the movement of salvation that just as sin came into the world because of man's refusal to obey the command of God, thou shalt not eat of the fruit of this tree in the middle of the garden. Yet man in Adam and Eve disobeyed that command and ate of the fruit. And so sin came into the world in death. And God in Jesus would bring back that salvation, would bring back that life, that alienation brought about by sin. And that came because of the yes, the yes of Mary, to the angels' annunciation today of the birth of the Son of God. The same yes as we heard in the second reading today. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. And indeed, as Jesus would pray, as we will celebrate Holy Week, if this cup, Lord, I do do not want to drink of this cup. If it is possible, I do not want, but not my will, but yours be done. And so salvation consists in the yes to God's will, to his word. God's yes to his commandments. God's word to all of us that we find in his commandments to love him and one another. In the Beatitudes, to be humble to be poor in spirit, to be meek and clean of heart, to be peacemakers. In the word that perhaps today is expressed in the health experts who tell us to stay home and work safe. Indeed, yes to the will of God brings salvation. 
May we always say yes to His Word, even if we are beset by questions like Mary, how can this be? Assured by the angel's words, nothing is impossible with God. So with the same trust and faith, like Mary's, let us pray for the grace to continue to journey towards the kingdom of God, to walk with Jesus, God made man, God with us, until finally we arrive at the kingdom which is our true home. Let us now proclaim our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With joy in God's favor, we pray. Abide with us. That God's people may have courage at all times, we pray. Abide, Abide with, with us. us. That the elect may respond to God's call with generosity, we pray. Abide, Abide with, with us. us. That prophets may sustain the church with words of comfort and challenge, we pray. Abide, Abide with, with us. us. That world leaders may listen to the voices of wisdom, we pray. Abide, Abide with, with us. us. That our sick may find hope in the presence of Emmanuel, we pray. Abide, Abide with us. That we may have confidence in our saving God, we pray. Abide, Abide with, with us. And that our beloved dead may find welcome among the saints, we pray. Abide, Abide with, with us. us. Hope of Israel, you promise to abide always with your people. Fill us with confidence in your presence. May we never fail to recognize you in the least of your children. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since you cannot receive communion physically at this moment, so I would like to invite you to recite with me this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, 
I believe, I believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire and I desire to receive you into my soul. To receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me. Never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Sing with